All right. Let's dive right into this rinse Hollywood casting news. I mean, wow, just wow. There have been some big announcements, some really interesting pairings uh, coming up that people are talking about all over the place. And I know you're a big film buff, so that would get right into it. Yeah, there's a lot of buzz around some of these new projects. Big names taking on some pretty different roles than what we're used to and some really interesting teams coming together. Let's start with something that has me a little puzzled. Lupita Nyong'o and John Mulaney. What? Yeah, no, right? I mean, that's an interesting combination. We don't really know anything about the project yet, but just those two names together, it could be anything. Definitely makes you wonder what they're going to do. I mean, Nyong'o, she's got that dramatic intensity, and Mulaney's known for his, like, dry humor. Could be a dark comedy or maybe a drama with some satirical elements. Who knows? Well, whatever it is, I bet it'll be interesting. And speaking of interesting, how about this? Jessica Chastain, Brendan Fraser, and Brian Cranston, hmm. all in the same film. Wow, now that's a powerhouse trio. And it's not just big names, it's serious talent. They can really bring those complex characters to life. I've heard it's going to be some sort of historical conspiracy film. Yeah. Which, you know, with those three involved, it could be amazing. Definitely, definitely. Historical conspiracies, you really need that blend of intrigue, suspense, and emotional depth. And with these three, I mean, the potential is huge. All right, let's switch gears a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Remember Dev Patel? You know, from Lion. Oh, yeah. Great movie. He's going to be in a new movie called The Journeyman about a professional tennis player mm. who gets caught up in the world of match fixing. But it's not your average sports movie. The director is Tarsim Singh, and he's the one who directed The Fall, which is just a visually stunning film. Yeah, you know, I've heard of that. I think it was recently restored on MUBI, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, Singh... He's really known for his vi visual style, like those beautiful compositions, vibrant colors. And Patel, he's got this amazing ability to show like vulnerability and inner conflict. Yeah, this could be huge for him. Okay, now let's talk about Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Because he's going to be playing George Clinton in a new musical biopic. And guess who's directing? Bill Condon, who also directed Murphy in Dreamgirls. Oh, wow. Talk about a dynamic duo. I yeah. mean, Clinton's life. His music, it's bigger than life. It's got so many interesting characters, so much energy. And Condon, he really knows how to capture those big musical moments. Absolutely. And Mercy, with his comedic timing and his ability to really dive into those dramatic moments, I think this could be really special. Now, it's been a busy week for a couple actors, like William H. Macy. He's got a crime comedy coming out, but he's also going to be in Edgar Wright's The Running Man. Yeah, it seems like he's doing a little bit of everything. Crime, comedy, action. Yeah, and then there's Mark Wahlberg, sequel to The Family Plan, and another project we don't know much about yet. I mean, these guys are really busy. They're definitely keeping themselves busy. And they're both such versatile actors, you know? They can handle the comedy and the drama. They can do it all. Okay, let's talk about some of the more, uh, shall we say, offbeat projects in the works. One is about a gallerist who is trying to sell a dead guy at Art Basel. That's definitely a unique concept. Could be interesting. Yeah, I mean, it could be a really sharp satire of the art world. You know, all about commodification and authenticity and how far people will go to be recognized. It'll be interesting to see how they pull it off. Definitely. And then there's Margot's Got Money Troubles, mm -hmm. which is about a young woman who decides to try OnlyFans to solve her money problems. Oh, wow. That could be very interesting. I know, right? Could be a straight up comedy. Or they could really explore some serious themes like, you know, financial desperation, societal taboos. I think they could do a lot with that premise, especially these days, you know, the gig economy and everything. People are struggling. Let's shift gears a little bit. Lakeith Stanfield and Juno Temple are going to be in a movie called Roof Man. Okay, I've heard of that one. It's about a runaway inmate hiding in a toy store. I know, right? So many possibilities. Imagine the humor and the suspense all in a toy store. I think it could be really cool. And then there's the spinoff to The Boys, which, you know, it's a pretty popular show right now. Yeah, Gen V, right? Yeah, that's it. It looks like they're really building out the cast for that one. And the buzz is pretty strong. I know people are talking about it, and The Boys is so popular right now. But, you know, there's always this worry about superhero fatigue. But The Boys has really managed to avoid that so far. Yeah, I think it's the writing. It's sharp. It's funny it's brutal it's got that social commentary it's just different i think gen v could do really well you know if it can capture that same energy all right let's wrap things up with a couple of familiar faces johnny depp is going to be in a new movie called day drinker 
This is his first big role since all those legal battles. It'll be interesting to see how people react. Yeah, for sure. It's going to get a lot of attention. Definitely. Definitely. And lastly, Telioni is joining the cast of Only Murders in the Building. Oh, that's cool. She's great. Yeah, I think she'll be a perfect fit. I mean, the show's already so popular. Great writing, great performances, you know, and she's got that comedic timing and that sharp wit that just fits right in. All right, so that's it for this week's casting news. It seems like Hollywood is just bursting with creativity right now. And with the American film market coming up, I think we can expect even more announcements soon. Yeah, that's right. The AFM is always a big deal. It's where a lot of these projects get started. So what do you think? What are you most excited to see? Which casting announcement really surprised you? Think about it, and we'll talk about it next time.